Hey, welcome back to Is It Worth It? Today, the Segelli 150. Okay, well, let's go ahead and fire this thing up. So, of course, five clicks. One, two, three, four, five. And you'll notice that, oh no, it says 44% battery life. And these are just fresh off the charger too. Well, don't worry about that. Hold down on fire, fire for just a second, let off. Look, now it says 100% full battery life. What you really wanna know is, is it worth it? So let's talk about some of the top points of whether it makes it worth it or not to you. In the box, it comes with, it comes with its own little protector. So I personally hate the way it looks inside this little cover. I, I like the black, it does come in like red, white, black, and I think a uh, blue as well, if I'm not mistaken. Um, double check and see if we can pop that information up for you. Um, but the fit and finish of this thing feels so amazing on its own that it feels like it's got some rubberized rhino hide on it, which makes it feel much better than the actual protectant. And I've dropped this thing about seven times on my hardwood floors from me standing upright, chest high, hits, you know, battery cover goes flying off, batteries go flying everywhere, you know, top cap goes I'm like, ah, screaming and yelling, running around the house, picking up parts and putting everything back together, turn it back on and go. Works just fine, still great. This is like my four wheel drive mods where my snow wolf is more like my sports car. I only want to take it out when I want to, you know, run around the town and be all showy. This is something I want to take out if I'm going to go to the gun range or if I want to go do something else. You know, this is tough. It's a, a tough truck. I haven't carried this in about a week because I don't like unboxing videos and having, you know, oh, I've been vaping on it for the last couple of hours and this is how it works, yay. Okay. You know a really a whole lot about that mod, don't you? You read the manual and you vaped on it for a couple of hours. Good job. I've been carrying this for a few weeks. So uh, so I can tell you that you know the battery life on this, whenever you're running about 65 watts, will last you about all day for an average vapor. Now, whenever you run it about 90 watts, like I do, when you rock it out, you know, you can kill it about a third of the day. You know, but more watts, more power, more vapor. You know, you pick. So just carry extra batteries. You know, that's what I do. Um, outside of that, I mean, the fit and finish, the, the look of it, everything looks masculine. I've seen red ones with uh, different uh, RDAs on them and they look very feminine for women uh, because one of my friends, she has a red one. It looks like Iron Man, it's awesome. She's got a Mutation XV4 that's got a, a copper RDA on it and Hers is red, so it looks like Iron Man, and it's freaking sick. So, you know, after talking to everybody, you know, they're, they're pretty popular across the board with guys, girls alike, that matter, and you can get whatever colors you want, which brings us to availability. Almost every vape shop I go into has these. You know, you might not be able to pick up an IBP-3 LI. You might not be able to pick up a Snow Wolf but you can probably pick up a Segelli 150. The shop I went to, I picked this up out the door for 100 bucks. That's including tax. Normally they sell for about 120. Um, some of the other ones sell up to like 150, 160 for the Snow Wolf, depending on where you get it. So you have a swing of, you know, $30 there-ish. So if you're wanting to get a Snow Wolf, you can check out my Snow Wolf videos. Uh, and if you're looking for something that's a little bit cheaper, then this is a viable option for 30 bucks less. You're looking at getting a Mutation X V4. I mean, that's that's a pretty good Addy. You know, if you, or you can pick up yourself a Zephyrus for 40 bucks if you're looking for a tank. Um, so there's other options that you can do with that extra money that you'd save from getting a 200 watt mod versus a 50 watt mod. You can find it in almost every vape shop you go to. Most everybody has had one or knows someone who does have one. So it's easy to find somebody at a shop and go, 
hey man, um, can you show me how to work this thing if you don't know how? And they'll easily be able to take you through everything. Through the menu options, how to set it up, if you want to do temp control, whatever, boom, easy. Your local vape shop can just easily do it because it is everywhere. Every freaking where you go, there's a Segeli 150. And there's a reason for that. It's because they're durable, they're at a good price, they have a great quality, the battery life's amazing. I mean, you, I mean, there is no cons to this whatsoever. So the Segeli 150, is it worth it? Definitely. And as always, I appreciate all you guys from watching and don't forget to subscribe. Vape on.